Mirror Walk away from Sigil Law. He steals the Hadronox! Esports have always been about skill. Training your mind and body to produce incredible results. Showing off true mastery. Leaving nothing to chance. But in Hearthstone, leaving things to chance forms the very foundation of the game. You know, once in a while you're just gonna take a pyroblast back to your own face. But that's really what this card is about. It's about just creating crazy moments. You never know where your choices might take you. And the possibilities can be exhilarating. In the words of the late, great TJ Sanders, punished. But where's the line between taking the occasional gamble and needing no skill whatsoever to win games? The Hearthstone community had to find out the hard way. And despite a bumpy ride of hellish balance, the game managed to survive. All games fit somewhere on the randomness spectrum. Some leave very little to chance, while others are fundamentally built on the luck of the draw. Card games, specifically, are inherently random. The order of the cards in your deck, the chance you or your opponent have to draw a specific card, and even the order cards get played in are unpredictable. Most of it is governed by a random number generator, or RNG. But in Hearthstone's case, the cards themselves add an additional element of surprise. And here's Firebat, explaining why that isn't always a good thing. So I understand that there's supposed to be draw RNG in a card game. I also understand that, or I believe anyway, that the design of some of the cards emphasizes it more than it needs to. Over the years, Hearthstone has seen some truly insane cards, all broken because of the RNG they added to the game. There was Yogg Saron, who cast a random spell for every spell you'd cast that game, even after he killed himself which was eventually removed from the game after a lot of top players complained that it was broken. So many animations stand against darkness. Oh, That's wow, not going to save Super him. Soul of the Forest! Bloodlust. Oh, okay. Charge okay. all of them. Master what? Portal! Oh my goodness! Oh my <laughs> god, that was huge! Piloted Shredder summoned a random two-cost minion when it died, which could throw off a player's strategy entirely. For example, here's Raynad getting screwed. I don't think there's a way to avoid losing the Shredder here. I'm just gonna hope he doesn't have the equality. Oh my fucking god, I hate this video game. Dr. Boom was once considered a must-have, especially for new players. He was arguably the best legendary card available, and he was banned from Standard in 2016 alongside Piloted Shredder. And to see one of the many reasons why Dr. Boom got banned, just watch as Kalento gets super lucky. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, such RNG. The card Babbling Book infamously decided the result of a Hearthstone 2016 World Championship quarterfinals match between Pavel and Amnesiac. After two very lucky draws from Pavel, Babbling Book got a new nickname, Paveling Book. This could be huge for go. Pavel. Oh, 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 oh. oh, look at it. Oh my god. The heartbreak on the face from Amnesia. I think he actually well, pulled at his own hair a little bit there. He was so frustrated and who I don't blame, blame him. him. And then there was Ragnaros. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. While Hearthstone is undeniably a huge commercial success for Blizzard, the randomness inherent to the game made turning it into an esport a challenge from the start. Sure, there are some cards that give you a little bit of wiggle room when it comes to managing their randomness, but at the end of the day, it's still a numbers game. And here's Ecore 100 explaining just how much Hearthstone revolves around managing that randomness. So let's just say I'm the player randomly generating a ton of stuff, right? Let's just say I'm a priest. There'll be a lot of cases where you won't actually randomly generate a ton of good things, but you have to somehow use the resources that you got to get to the end goal of you winning. Like we already said, in esports, skill is everything. So when it came to Hearthstone competition, losing to a random play feels bad. Some would say that there's a beauty to watching the perfectly lucky play go off or seeing someone take a huge risk and watching it work out. Unless, of course, you're the one on the other end of the RNG. Bunch of free controls, honestly. Um... Oh, never mind! <laughs> it happened! Don't hide now, own it! Hold yes. up those signs! You no, brought 
them. Wh whoever was holding, don't. Walk away. Bathe in that man's misery. Don't try and back out of it now. Now, Blizzard wants there to be randomness in Hearthstone. From their perspective, it's what gives new players a fighting chance against seasoned pros. My journey into competitive Hearthstone was just playing for fun at the beginning for a year, then qualifying randomly to a tournament. And in the last prelims and winters, I qualified, did a top four finish, went to Bahamas, and in the Bahamas, did another top four finish. So here I am going to the World Championship. But when it comes to pro play, the general consensus was that Hearthstone was just too random. And don't take my word for it. Here's former pro life coach explaining his frustrations with the game back in the day. It, it's not even that important how you... It's, it's like coin flipping with a little bit of strategy. So maybe how you rotate the coin so that it flies through the air in a specific angle so that you can have a 10% higher chance of having this head outcome or the um, tail outcome. The RNG elements in Hearthstone are so strong that many believe that it's possible to win games against better players who just happen to have worse luck, which would undermine the integrity of competition if it were true. Just to have the direct comparison, you play very well, extremely well, and you can lose a lot of games, or you play very crappy and you win a lot of games. And even if it weren't true, that thought has a lot of doubt to any result. And anyone interested in playing in the Hearthstone Global Finals really did have to win a lot of games. The Hearthstone Championship Tour, a system of gathering points from a bunch of Blizzard-sanctioned events and majors, proved to be problematic because of how many events there were, how convoluted tabulating points could be, and how geographically spread out the qualifying players were sometimes. In other games, trophies and tournament wins are the things that define superstar players. But in Hearthstone, where a lucky break could be the difference between winning and losing a tournament, trophies didn't hold as much weight. To truly be recognized as a great Hearthstone player, you have to play and win so many matches that people can't chalk up your victories to RNG. And here's Solemn explaining how RNG can really mess with competitive results. While it started out as a game that resolved around decision making and strategy, it now heavily resolves around random effects. How lucky can you be and how unlucky can your opponent be? More and more cards that were introduced in the recent sets have an effect that either generates something randomly or just have a straight up random effect. It's just random 10, 20% swings and win rate that don't need to exist. So how does anyone find a lasting success in a game like this? Well, because of all the reasons we listed, true influence in the Hearthstone scene lies outside of the tournament space. I think the bullet's in the second chamber. Well played, man. Well played. Back in Hearthstone's heyday, when it was one of the top five most watched games on Twitch regularly, names like Disguised Toast and Hafu were huge. But Hearthstone has since tumbled down Twitch's ranks. It holds steady in the top 20, but it isn't the juggernaut it used to be. There are, of course, still the diehard Hearthstone devotees who are committed to streaming their favorite game no matter what is popular on Twitch at the moment. <laughs> I started this turn with nothing on the board, and now this is my board. Welcome to Hearthstone 2020. And part of the reason for Hearthstone's decline is balance issues, something that Blizzard has received plenty of criticism over the years for, even from top personalities in the scene like Riparian. The problem is that Blizzard has made a ridiculous effort to try to legitimize and make the, the Hearthstone esports scene as serious as possible. But then, then you have Yogg's Run. So that, that doesn't make any sense, right? You, you can't have what's supposed to be, what they're trying to perceive as a super serious esport, while at the same time having ridiculously RNG cards. You can have you can have one of those, but you can't have both of those. Hearthstone's slow decline is reflected not only in the diminished Twitch views, but also in the lower amount of money you make for choosing to go pro and the steady trickle of pros who choose to retire. But even as many of the game's mainstays leave, the competitive circuit is still running events. He has Twilight Drake, Hogsteed, Hogsteed, Ironbark, Schumer. Nice. Most importantly, yeah. he has Lucenbark and Heals. Yes. Indeed it was, Tice. Indeed yeah, it I was. I think that's it. And Yala is going to be going to the World Championships. What a win! There are new and exciting storylines coming out of Hearthstone. And despite a shorter 2019 competitive season, Blizzard continues to pump out new content to keep things fresh. 
In 2019, Blizzard replaced HCT with a newer, simpler system called Hearthstone Masters. Hearthstone Championship Tour is coming to an end. We've seen some of the best Hearthstone that's ever been played happen during HCT. Bloody face concedes! Language Hacker is your 2018 Fall Champion! Hearthstone faces some stiff competition, from the likes of Legends of Runeterra and Magic the Gathering Arena, along with the rise of auto battlers like Dota Auto Chess and Teamfight Tactics. But it did have an answer to the last two in the form of a new game mode, Battlegrounds. And despite its fair share of disasters over the last few years, Hearthstone's unpredictability is what keeps it both fresh and frustrating, five years after its release. Never mind, I love Hearthstone. Best card game in the world. Not knowing what comes next can be a nerve-wracking experience, especially if your career is on the line. But for the spectator, the stakes make all the difference. And for at least some of the pros, the potential highs might just make up for the lows. Man, I hate that it snowed. It's disgusting and sickening. Oh, you're a summer person. Yeah, I am a summer person. Don't you hate you. Don't you say that like it's a slur. You can't even go outside right now. Why not? Cold. So? Cold. I don't want to be cold.